Assalamu alaikum my dear students of class 3 how are you doing all hope you all are fine by the grace of almighty allah alhamdulillah i am also doing well by the grace of almighty allah welcome to NIEVS home school this is wahid noor assistant teacher of islamic studies national ideal english version school deshit today i am going to conduct the class of islamic studies for class 3 and today our topic is discussion few pages page number 41 42 45 49 53 sorry here will be 52 52 and 50, 53 all are discussion from chapter 4 lecture number 4 is w number 4 my beloved students already last few classes of youtube we have finished the discussion from chapter 3 short question broad question everything now i am discussing from chapter 4 first of all you have to know our about our syllabus already you got the short syllabus annual term short syllabus so according to the short syllabus i am discussing that pages some pages i skipped because this is not related to our annual term syllabus that's why so my beloved students i will uh, discuss the main uh, main points from that uh, pages first of all learning the quran majid you will get this page number 41 learning the quran majid so there is the uh, important point that is the quran majid is the message of allah it has the guideline to do our work how to do and what to do the language of quran majid is arabic Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the best person among you is he who learns the Quran Majid and teaches it to others. My beloved students, I hope everyone you can learn the Quran Majid, you can read the Quran Majid. But, but you know, Quran Majid is the message of Almighty Allah, is peace of Almighty Allah and this is the Arabic language. And if you want to get every kind of solution about your life and for the next life also, you will get the solution in the Holy Quran. And uh, those are learning the Quran Majid and those are teaching the Quran Majid. Uh, regarding that uh, person, our Prophet Sallallahu is saying, those are learning the Quran Majid and those are teaching the Quran Majid. They are the best person among the all of the human beings. So it was the uh, main point from uh, chapter 4 page number 41 now come to the uh, another page page number 42 there is the discussion about arabic alphabets arabic letters there are 29 letters in arabic bengali is read from left side to right arabic is read from the right side 29 arabic alphabets are I written here alif to ya. I hope you can read. After that, I am telling you alif ba ta sa jim ha kho dal zal roza sin shin so do to zo ain gain fa kof kaf lam mim nun wow ha hamza ya. If you count these letters alphabets, you will get here 29 Arabic letters. So, my beloved students, you just keep remember Arabic always will be start Arabic writing or reading always will be started from the right side to left side for example if you write the uh, surah uh, um, uh, Fatiha uh, from the right side Alhamdu Lillahi Rabbil Alameen like that or if you want to uh, read then you have to read from the right side alhamdulillah rabbil alamin and bengali how you are starting from the left side the just it is the opposite this is start it will be start from the right side now the another page uh, page number 45 there is the discussion about the nukta so what is the definition of nukta at first you have to know that there are one or more dots on or under the arabic letters these dots are called nukta 15 arabic letters have nukta 14 arabic letters have no nukta my beloved students i already told you there are 29 letters so 15 Ara letters have nukta and 14 letters have no nukta so total is 29 so 15 arabic letters 
15 Arabic letters have nukta. If you see the page number 45, there is the box and very clear uh, how many um, letters are getting the one nukta below the letter or two nukta or three nukta or two nukta under the letter. The, there is the description in your book. If I say, for example, first one is one nukta will get under the letter two, uh, one nukta that is two letters only that is ba and jim. And then one nukta on the letter, I mean above the letter, there are eight letters. They are getting one nukta, but it will get uh, above the letter. That is kha, zal, za, za, uh, goin, fa, dod, and nun. And then only one nukta, uh, sorry, only two nukta, but below the letter, under the letter. That is only one letter, that is ya. And then uh, two nukta on the letter that is uh, two letters that is ta and kof they are getting two nukta above the letter i mean uh, on the letter and then three nukta on the letter that is only two letters sa and shin so there is the uh, differentiate uh, uh, among the 29 letters now my beloved students i will discuss about the harkat you will get this discussion uh, in page number 49 in Arabic language, the signs of Jabor, Jer, and Pesh are called Harkat. There are three kinds of Harkat. They are Jabor, Jer, and Pesh. Students, I written here two kinds of spelling of Jabor. See, keep attention here, J-A-B-O-R. So, I started by letter of J. And here is Z. Both are correct. Don't be confused which one will be correct. J and Z, both spelling are correct. So, if you uh, if you want to remember very simply what is called Harkot. Jabor, J and Pesh are called Harkot. So, if you write this, then also will be um, uh, okay. And uh, you know which is uh, Jabor, this is Jabor, this is J and this is Pesh. Now then another page, uh, page number uh, 52, see uh, there is the discussion about the Tanvin. Uh, so what is Tanvin? Double Jabor, double Jet and double Pesh are called Tanvin. For example, Mim double Jabor Man, then Mim double Jer Min, Mim double Pesh Moon. Just very simply if I give there uh, another Jabor then it will be double Jabor then it will be double J and it will be double pesh. So this is the definition of Tanvin. And lastly about the Jazam, uh, it's related to the page number 53. There are many letters in Arabic that do not have harkat. A sign is used to pronounce this letter. This sign is called Jazam. Students, uh, see here I given the Jazam sign. Other sign of Jazam is Students see this is like a comma in Bengali language comma. So it's also Jazam. Another name of Jazam is Sakin. For example, Mim Nun Jabor Man. See, this is Nun and I given there Jazam. So you cannot read only with the Jazam this letter. But if you join another letter, before the noon then you, you will read that i given their meme and i need to give the harkat jabor or jer or pesh i given uh, jabor so meme noon jabor man but without jabor uh, or without harkat you cannot read along the uh, um, uh, along the noon sakin or noon uh, jazam i hope you understood and another name of jazam is sakin now students, uh, keep attention to the HW, uh, HW number 4, Arabic letters alif to ya. You will do the Arabic letters as the HW alif to ya. I already written here, you can follow here or you can follow your book, no problem, but you have to write in Arabic. Don't write in English. Don't write the Arabic in English. You will write in Arabic, alif to ya. This is your HW. 
so that's all for today my dear students keep practicing at home this is the discussion inshallah these pages we will discuss in the uh, live class also uh, if you don't understand any of the uh, um, uh, uh, words or sentence then you can ask me ask us so keep practicing at home see you next class inshallah till then assalamu alaikum